It's me again. Yes, again. I'm going to replace my Benelli. I wasn't even going to do a video on this because we have a video of taking this whole thing down. But I don't know if I made a video actually replacing a follower and a shotgun. It's very simple. Probably 90% of you guys probably know how to do it. But I figure eh, it's another excuse to show off this beautiful shotgun. It's the nicest shotgun I ever had in my life. Zero failures, I'm proud to announce so far. Got the new titanium extended uh, magazine tube on there. And uh, we're going to make this thing uh, complete. And um, I ordered this from a Freedom Fighter Tactical. And it just came a little bit later than the rest of the parts. Sometimes that happens. And it's a green follower. If you go to his website, he has green, red, and stainless steel. I like the green, I think it looks cool with the gun, and I love the color green, it catches my eye better. Like if I, if I had a choice with a laser, it would be green. Okay, uh, I like the green better than the red. Plus you can see them during the day better. So I'm just going to start taking this apart. The first thing I'm going to do is, uh, you know, of course, check my chamber. Uh, also, there's charging handles from Freedom Fighter Tactical. Right? If you got a Benelli M4, that's the site you want to go to, okay? So there's nothing in there, all good there. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do is this. Uh, it's one thing I got to show you though when you got this gun. I'm going to take this nut off. This is the disassembly nut. This takes the whole gun apart. Okay. One thing you got to be careful with though with these guns because this barrel has a double ring on it because of the gas piston system it has a twin gas piston system on it. It has a ring here too, and it has a ring here for mounting, and it has a ring here for the piston system. Uh, you got to be careful you don't scratch this up. So when, when you take it off, just be real slow with it. So I'm going to slowly try to get this off of here. There we go. See the whole thing comes apart. And as soon as I start moving it, I know I did this video before, these panels come right off. Okay. But it's not a disassembly video. It's, it's to show you how to change a follower. Now you see how it's riding on it, so just got, just try to be as careful as you can. I guess try to hold it by here. Just take it off really, 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 really slow. I don't want to scratch up that titanium tube. They are not cheap, and they're worth every penny. Okay, put this out of the way. Now all I have to do now is the follower. You can't see it yet. Here's the end. This the end has a plug here, and, and there's a special tool which you would think I would have because of all the shotgun videos I do now, but I don't. There's a tool you can buy, and uh, it has two little points. It looks like a pair of pliers, and they're for this taking stuff like these out. They take off retaining rings, and they take off these. And what they do is, you you plug the pliers into these two holes, and then you see that sixteenth uh, of an inch gap. Well, that allows you to squeeze the plug to make it smaller to get it out of the hole, but I don't have that tool. So what I use is an Allen key, which works okay. It's not the best way to go. Let me get this set up better. All right, sorry, this room is the worst for working on long, gu long guns. There's no room in here. So what I do is, for now, so I can get that tool, is I'll grab my Allen keys like this. Is that fucking camera on? Yep. Stop person. I uh, grab my Allen key and uh, I guess the 3 16 one, uh, 5 30 seconds. I'll grab that one, that's, that's enough. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in under that cap and I'll just kind of work it out both all around. And it'll come out. It's already coming out. And watch, it'll shoot out. Once you get it loose, it'll shoot out uh, pretty uh, <clears throat> violently. Put your gun in a vise and put it in there as loosely as you can, as long as it holds the gun. You don't want to crush your receiver. Okay, it's coming. It takes a little time with this, but it works good. Okay. Oops. And I just use the L part. I go in with the L, hook it around, and then. Nudge it, spin it around in there, then nudge it, spin it around in there, then nudge it, 
put it on the top and nudge it, put it on the bottom and nudge it. You like that, how that winds around? It's cute. And that's how you do that. There's the plug, not a scratch on it, okay? Now I'll gently take this out. Hopefully, sometimes a follower will stick to the spring, but I'm never that lucky, see? That doesn't happen for me. Now I gotta take the gun out of the vise, dump the follower out, and put the gun back in the vise. And always use a padded vise. Okay, here's the other follower. Put it back in the vise. I got my my vise has leather leather straps in between the jaws. Leather's the best because it really sticks to the steel when you clamp down on it, and you don't have to clamp real hard to have to keep the gun from moving around. Don't use cloth. Don't use rags. Get a leather belt. Cut the leather belt in sections and crazy glue it to your jaws. And the leather works great. All I had to do is just is turn this crank handle just a little bit, and it's holding the gun real firm for me. That's what you want. Okay, this is what's coming out. This is what's going in. This is coming out. This is going in. Okay, first thing you do, facing this way, it's just going to go right in there, just like that. Another thing you want to do before you put it in, look at it very carefully, spin it in your hand like this, like put your fingers on it and just spin it in your hand like this. Why are you doing that, dude? Because I want to make sure it's nice and perfect circle. Because if it, this is very, very delicate, it can be squashed very easy. Once it's in the tube, it's totally protected by steel, so you ain't got to worry about it. But I'm going to make sure it's perfectly round and it's not oval, because if it is, it might cause feeding issues if there's too much friction in there. So that's good. Uh, I'm not sure what this is made out of. I'm going to say it's titanium, judging by how light it is. I don't know, it might be aluminum. It feels pretty damn good. So I'm going to put it in facing this way, solid end towards the receiver. I'm just going to put it like that. And then remember the spring is symmetrical, doesn't matter which way you put it in. I'll get the spring to push it and rest it away in. That's it, just like that. Now it's down in there. And now I will push the spring in little by little by little by little by little. And you know what I love about this kit from Freedom Fighter? You don't have to cut the fucking spring. That is such a pain in the ass. The spring's ready to go, it's already sized. That awesome. Sometimes it helps to put some grease on this. Now, since I only have one hand, because I forgot to do it, I'm going to get some of this Wally's lube. It's pretty good stuff. Howard from the bunker introduced me to that stuff. I like to get more of it. Got to call that guy Wally. Get some more of it. Now, I'm just going to grease that up a little to help me get it in there. When you're putting this part in, put the uh, the gap side up and squeeze that together. And try to get that in first. Once you get that in first, don't squeeze it with the pliers. Try to squeeze it with your hands like that. I mean, I got bad arthritis, and I'm, I'm able to do it. It's a bitch. It hurt, but it, it, it went in. Now I'm just going to tap it in with a mallet. You don't have to whack it hard. Just tap it easy. And that's in there beautiful okay that's pretty much it that's how you replace a follower then we're going to I got to get uh, shotgun snap caps as you can see not a scratch on the receiver there's one there but that's from the gun range putting it up and down on that on there's uh, on that table with the steel rods but like I said not a scratch on there and now I'm going to throw this bit bad boy back together and I really can see that follower in there. I don't know if you can see it. See the green? How it's showing up? Let me get it back together and I'll show it to you. Hold. All right, got her all together. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to clean this gun and take it apart and put it back together. It's one of those guns where it's fun because it's not very hard to do. Oh, shut the frig up. And then, uh, what the hell did I do with that LK? All right, I'm missing it already. And uh, hold on, I'm being interrupted again. Just wait till it stops. While the phone's ringing, I'm going to tell you guys, please join the NRA. There it goes. Did you see what happened this past year? This is why you need to join the NRA. This is the shit that goes on. 
Now you know it's just a matter of time. Sooner or later, maybe later, there probably will be another shooting. And then, sorry, Jesus Christ. Why can't I ignore that? Why can't I just ignore that and just go on? I don't know how school teachers do it. Here's my own key. Yeah, that thing with Sandy Hook and all, you know, it ain't, it ain't like that's the latest time that's ever going to happen because, you know, all the new gun laws they put out think it's going to prevent it, and we all know it's not because, you know, we're not bad people, and uh, bad people can make plans and hurt people with anything. Like, for instance, did you ever hear of the highway killer in, uh, in England? Yeah, so, well, since nobody has a gun in England, this guy targeted little blonde girls and he just hated blonde girls and he was a serial killer and he he would drive around and if no one was around and he seen a girl walking with blonde hair he would floor it and run her over and back over her and run her over and he did it to like I don't know six or eight girls he killed so like I said a bad person is gonna find any way to hurt someone if they want to and ain't because of guns it's ridiculous so my point is, it's really important to keep pe telling people to join the NRA. No one's really been saying it anymore because they think it's over. It's never odor over because there's always going to be some kind of stupid shooting by some idiot because it's going to start all over again. So when it does, we have to be ready, and the NRA needs a lot of members to fight the fight. Okay? So there it is. I'm not a recruiter. I don't get paid. I'll tell you a true story. I was a recruiter. And when someone did join the NRA, I got a little bit of money, like $5. I just split it with somebody. And I figure, hey, I'm doing the gun community good. And at the same time, I'm kind of being reimbursed for my time doing it. You know, five bucks. But um, the NRA, uh, I think they see my channel. And because I curse and I use profanity, they fired me. Whatever. Do I still, do I hate the NRA for that? No, I still support the NRA. Because without them, I wouldn't have this. I wouldn't have this. I don't care that they fired me. They can keep their $5. I'll still, I'll still renew my membership every year and be thankful that they fight for our rights all the time. So, I mean, I guess you have to be like Ted Nugent. You have to be a big celebrity. Then you can say whatever you want and they won't care. But I, I, who cares? You know, my ass hurt. At first I was. I was pissed because... You know, through the years, I'm sure I got them at least four or five hundred members by constantly, you know, telling people to join the NRA. But uh, who cares? Join the NRA, okay? I'm still a member, and you know what they think of me. So who cares? Now, here's the follower. Now, you can see the follower in there. Of course, this is all put back together. Uh, I wanted to mention, someone asked me if, uh, if the choke gets loose in the Benelli M4 after a lot of shooting. Sometimes they do, you know, most shotguns they do. So you just stick your finger in there and just go like this. You'll feel if it's loose or not. And if it does, you get a tool for that. And you can put a tool in there, it looks like a T-handle, and just tighten up your choke. It comes with the gun. Okay? So, sorry about getting off the subject, but I haven't mentioned the NRA in a while. And it needs to be mentioned. Okay? Okay. Jeez, how am I going to do this? Can you guys see this? There's the uh, green follower. There it is. See how it stands out? You can see it real good. The camera ain't doing it justice, but I can see it real good. I like it. Now I'm just going to have to give it a good test, load some loads in there, and of course, now i got to go shoot it again. But what I will do, I'll do a dry test with it in my bedroom. The best place to do it is on your, uh, on your bed in your bedroom, because when you're racking the shells out, they, don't, they won't bounce all over. They hit the bed and they stay there. If I do it in here, you know, they roll all over the place. But I, uh, that's how I do it. Okay, so there it is. Benelli M4. Got the uh, American made lime green follower, I guess you would call it, from Freedom Fighter Tactical. And my gun is 100% compliant, totally legal. And that's it, it's done. I might. I don't, I'm not going to put a bunch of shit on it. I might put a light on it. I don't know. I, I might not even do that. Depends. Depends on the situation, what I'm really, really going to use it for. So, uh, did I mention that? Yes. The, uh, the, uh, the choke tube, I mentioned that. 
And uh, what I do is, when I'm all done with the gun, just to preserve it because it's so expensive, I put a couple drops of frog lube. I use I, I use frog lube more as like a as like a wiping down the gun thing than a cleaning thing. Don't get me wrong, it works good. It, it cleans your guns good, but it's it's the best for just put a couple drops on a rag and wipe your whole gun down, and it, it looks awesome and it protects it and it never dries up and it's not slippery feeling, so it's it's pretty good stuff. And that's it. All right, guys. This is kind of a repeat video, but I never really got in detail about the follower. So if you're putting a follower in your shotgun, I hope this helps you. I'll see you later.